What's up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? What up, man? I'm out here nature protecting my peace. Just got it in. And uh, we got a message for you. I say we because my brother about to come on here and spit that flame, that fire. I know it's Friday. I know it's the weekend. But as I was running today, man, I had these thoughts in my head. I had these thoughts about suffering. I had these thoughts about settling for less. I had these thoughts about, about average, mediocre, about greatness in my life. And I realized this truth. And I'm going to be straight with y'all, man. I ain't going to sugarcoat. My brother ain't going to sugarcoat. I'm going to just tell you like this because you might not want to hear it, but it's true. The reason where you're at, where you're at right now is because you're deciding to stay there. I know we can think about a million reasons, you know, what brought us there, what happened to our life. We understand that. But the question I have to you right now is what are you going to do about it? Right. If, if you're selling for less and you're unhappy and you have a broken heart, what are you going to do about it? Right. If you're overwhelmed, you're out of shape. What are you going to do about it? Right. If, if people aren't supporting you, believing in your dreams, what are you going to do about it? Right. You have a relationship issues, friendship issues. What are you going to do about it? Because too many times we good with the announcement. We good with the speech. We stand at the podium and talk about all these things, but we have no action in our life. And you say, Trent, I'm suffering. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to let my brother explain it better than me, but you're going to suffer regardless. In this run, I just suffered, but I suffered in greatness. I suffered in progression. I suffered in endurance and no suffering. That suffering leads to success. That suffering leads to growth. That suffering leads to change. What up, New York in the building? What up, y'all? Rare Breed Academy, man. We starting on Monday. What up? Let's go. You on the treadmill now? I see you, Shelly. So I'm about to bring my brother on right now. We're going to get right to the point. Lock in for 10 minutes. It's 600 of you stay on here. I don't want people on here just to hear a message and that's it, just to see here and be a watcher. I want people in here that's going to be a worker. All right? So let's get it, man. As I bring my brother on. What up, y'all? What up, bro? My dude, my dude, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. I can feel your energy all through here. I'm out here in nature with you, man. For sure, bro. Nature here. I looked down. I thought it was a snake down there. <laughs> dude. Like, oh, man, what's that? Dude. Hey, bro, go ahead, go ahead and speak what's on your heart, man. We don't need no introduction, man. man. You already said it. You already said it, man. Suffering. Suffering leads to success. You want to redefine your life? You got to redefine the way you look at suffering. I'm going to be real quick, and I hope this gets tattooed on everybody's mind. There are five ways to suffer. There are five ways. The first way to suffer is through discipline. The second way to suffer is through criticism. The third way to suffer is through failure. The fourth way to suffer is through life experience. And the fifth way is suffering through regret. And the problem is most people only suffer from regret. And the first four ways that I mentioned through discipline, through failure, through experience, that breeds growth, that breeds courage, that breeds strength. And people don't understand how to reframe the way they look at suffering. And I want people to know one way or the other, every day of your life, you are either suffering towards success or you are suffering towards mediocrity. And you got to ask yourself, how are you suffering right now? So when Trent was out there running those miles, putting in that work, suffering through that pain, through that progression, you already know what it's breeding. It's breeding that strength. And I want everybody here to understand that there's something inside of them that needs to be unlocked. And the only way to do it is through suffering. So that's how you gotta ask yourself, how do you suffer? Is it through discipline? Is it through failure? Is it through beating through the criticism? Or is it gonna be through regret? Ask yourself that every day. I see you, I see you, Miss Texas. Right on, brother. I see, I see people here, man. They're saying, uh, yes, I feel that. And that's the question, man. We, we don't need you just to feel it. We need you to apply it. So ask yourself that question right now. Am I suffering through regret? Like if, if, you, if, if you can look in the mirror, you can ask yourself this question. Am I giving my all? Your answer is no. Even if you got to think about it, you're suffering through regret. Right? You look at your kids and you feel like, man, I'm not giving my all to them because I'm too busy or I'm not paying them attention because I'm watching TV. I'm on my phone. You're going to suffer from regret. If you look at your dreams and say, man, you know, I, I'm, I'm just doing what needs to be done. I'm tiptoeing my way through. I, I'm just I'm just going through the motions. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to suffer from regret. And the thing about suffering from regret, I don't know if you agree with me with this, Jay, or not, but suffering from regret, you can't change regret. Regret is like poison to your soul. It is poison to your soul. It will eat you alive. So many people, right, because there comes a point where you have to let go of it anyway. 
if you don't do it. But so many people are holding on to regret, bro, because they didn't do it. And they're allowing that regret of their past to control their present. And you know what? They're going to have a future full of regret. So the question I want to ask you right now is what are you going to do right now? to actually push yourself forward and do something. Some of y'all might be thinking, man, I don't have this. I don't have that. You live in your limitations. You live in your limitations. I could easily out here say, man, I can't run the same time I used to run. That's my limitations. I cut through with my expectation. I say, you know what? I'm going to give my all. When I leave here, I can look myself in the mirror and say, no matter how I ended up, I gave my all today. Stop living a limited life. Stop living a limited life, man. Talk about expectations real quick, bro, because I know that's something that you're super passionate about. I'm about to jump on that, but I'm going to tell you this, because you keep talking about action and application. Remember these cues. Action kills anxiety. Discipline kills doubt. Everybody here, everybody suffered from some type of anxiety or self-doubt. The more action that you take, the more you will kill all the anxiety that you have about yourself. All the doubt that you have is going to be killed through the discipline that you apply in your life. And man, I'm gonna hit you with a real harsh conversation I had with a homie real quick about expectation. And this is all gonna relate to rare breed. I had, a, I had a conversation with a buddy of mine and this is not for me to sound arrogant. If anybody knows me, they know my heart. He said, man, John, I want you to know your discipline is something different. And you have certain expectations for the people around you and you expect them to work the same way you do and you expect them to put in the same type of effort and approach life the same way you do. And unfortunately, it just doesn't happen like that. So maybe you should lower your expectations. And I'd be lying to you if I, if I said to myself, whether you think it's arrogant or not, I said to myself, maybe they should raise their own expectations about <laughs> their self. Is, is asking someone to go all out on themselves too much? Is asking themselves to really respect my time and really understand what the type of partnership I'm trying to have with that person? Is that irrational? I don't think it is. So at the end of the day, if you really want to build confidence in yourself, you got to raise your own bar. You got to raise your own expectations because every time you meet your own expectations, because we all have expectations of who we can become. We all have that. We all know it. And the more we deliver on that promise, the more we become a different type of beast mentally. Mentally, physically, emotionally. And it all starts with expectations. And to go even deeper into that, expectations is the number one thing that can either build or destroy a relationship. I'm going to say this super quick. Trent and I are business partners. We're brothers. I have an expectation of what a brother and a business partner is. And he has the same thing with me. And if he doesn't meet those expectations, it creates a divide between us. So as brothers, we got to really understand what those expectations are between both of us. And every time we meet them, our relationship flourishes. A deeper bond flourishes. So what is the relationship with the expectations you have with yourself and the people that you care about? Are you raising that on personal bar? And when it comes to rare breed, you feel this energy I got right now outside? It's because we want you to raise your own bar. We want you to set particular expectations for yourself and feed off the energy in this community so you can deliver on your own promise and break through your own expectations and continue to raise it day after day after day. So ask yourself, what are those expectations and what do they mean to you? Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm looking at the comments, man. I'm seeing people say amen. I'm seeing people give the flaming emojis. Listen, man. Hey, I feel it too. The question is, what you going to do about it? That's my question to you. What are you going to do about it? It takes more than just, I'm breaking up. My bad. It, it takes more than just saying amen. It takes more than just saying, okay, what are you going to do about it? And Jay pointed out some of my expectations. And it's the same thing with standards. The problem, happens, the problem is, can you hear me, bro? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. The, the problem is, is that too many of us, we lower our standards to meet people at their level. Some of you in your life, you lower your standards to make other people feel comfortable. You lower your standards because you were afraid what other people are going to say, as that person told Jay, oh, man, your discipline is different. Hell yeah, it's different. That's why you see me get different results. That's why you see me move different. That's why you see me elevate different, because I'm doing different things. Stop lowering your, your standards to meet people at their level and make people raise their standards to meet you at yours. One of the things that I used to do, Jay, and I'm about to bring it back, 
out like people that I don't know that want to meet with me, I used to tell them this, all right, meet me on the trails. We'll meet right here. All right, you want to meet me? We'll meet out here. And do I meet out here? You got to make it to my woman. All right, you got to make it. Most people would exit that. And I do right then. That wasn't the mindset that I wanted to be around. And probably people talked about me, oh, Trent, you, you weird, you crazy. Yeah, you can call me crazy all you want. But I'm going after some results that a lot of people don't understand and will never understand because we rare. So if you're a person on here right now, that's, I see people say I'm struggling with moving on, right? Go to Rare Breed Academy. We start in 72 hours on Monday, right? We ain't playing no games. If you're a person right now that has business issues, that want to elevate your business, go to rarebreedacademy.com right now. If you're a person that says, man, I'm trying to get my habits, my rituals, my standards right, go to Rare Breed Academy. If you're a person that's on a health journey and say, man, I want to get the most out of my life. I want to be the healthiest, right? The strongest, forget healthiest, the strongest I've been in my life. Go to rarebreedacademy.com right now, and it's time to really invest in yourself. It's time to stop playing games because this is the truth. I'm going to give it back to you, Jay. Time is not waiting for anybody, right? 2022, forget that. July, August is going to come. Regardless, time waits on no man. It's going to come. That's a guarantee. But it's not a guarantee unless you make a decision on who you're going to be when July comes around and who you're going to be when August comes around. You can look back with regret and say, damn, I'm in the same position as I was, talking about the same things, complaining about the same things, struggling with the same things, and not trying to progress my life. And you're going to be a person that says, you know what? I put in the work. I was a worker. And look at my life, how far I came. Man, I'm going to add to this. I want everybody to hear this right now. You can completely transform your life in six months if you just go deep and lock in. And I'm not just saying this to sell the program. Rare breed can be the spark. Rare breed can be the spark. If you lock in for six weeks, suddenly your entire mindset, your habits, the way you live your life will completely change. And if you stay consistent and you keep pounding that pavement, I guarantee in six months, you will wake up differently physically, financially, spiritually, and professionally. But you have to do the work. And, I, and I'm gonna say this because you can feel the intensity between Trent and myself. When you feel all this passion that's coming through the phone, through IG, I'm not saying anything to make you feel bad. And I'm not saying anything to shame you wherever you're at in the current season. Trent and I are trying to challenge your greatness. Do you understand the difference when we're telling you the truth? Some people will think that we're trying to shame you. Some people will think that we're trying to challenge your greatness. There is a sleeping giant that has been hibernating inside of you for five, 10, 15, 20 years. And as rare breeds, Trent and I are trying to poke that bear. We're trying to poke that bear and wake up that lion or that lioness to just get unleashed. And you can use rare breed as the spark for the next six weeks that can completely transform your life over the next year. And I could put my life on it. I could put my life on it. Hell yeah, bro. bro that's it, man. Like. I think that's all we need to say. And if somebody feels shamed about that, man, sorry, not sorry. Because y'all already know how we bring it. You know what we stand for. You know our hearts. You know, these are conversations I had to have with myself in the last month. I had to look myself in the mirror and have these conversations. Because Jay said it best, man. There is no change. There is no change without challenge. There is no change without challenge. A lot of us want to be comfortable. You want to be around people who tell you things that you want to hear instead of need to hear. You want to be around people who make you feel comfortable. Right? Staying comfortable. You want to, you want that. And that doesn't create any change in your life. So you're uncomfortable in this live today. Great. If it felt like we hit you in the heart and you feel like, damn, is, is he talking to me? Or are they talking to me? Great. Because it hit your, it hit, huh. this message hits you in the heart and don't ignore that. All right. So we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. And listen, rarebreedacademy.com, man. It starts in 72 hours. And a lot of people be in my inbox for the last six months and said, Trent, I want to be coached by you. I want to, you know, this and this and all that stuff. Take action, man. Action creates transformation. And you don't just get me. You see this brilliant guy in front of me. And it's just a piece of his brilliance, right? He's holistically, I'm not just saying this because he's on here, holistically, mind, body, and soul, I think one of the greatest, right? One of the greatest in the game. And I've been around everybody. I've been around the Tony Robbins, the Les Browns. I've been around the, the trainers through the NFL. This is the reason why this man stand next to me. All right, Iron Shopper's arm, man. What you got to say as we get off of here, brother? One more thing, man. Give him one I'm more thing. Thing to everybody, just real quick. 
You know, there's always a question, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? I'm going to flip it on you. All the people say, John, I want to believe in myself. I want to believe in myself. I want that self-confidence. So people ask, what comes first, belief or the work? What comes first out of belief or the work? If you believe it, you can achieve it, right? That's honestly a lie. The work comes first because the more you work, the more you believe in yourself. The work creates the belief. So ask what comes first from believing in yourself and the work, you got to put in the work because suddenly that creates that belief and that self-confidence every time you put in that extra rep. So let Rare Breed Academy, let that community help you put in the work on yourself so you can create that belief that you are becoming the greatest version of yourself. Rarebreedacademy.com. Come right now. It's about to be fired up May 10th. And we going stronger than ever. I, I bet my life on it. Hell yeah, bro. Believe craze that beast, man. Like we always tell you, it all starts with you. It's time to live like a rare breed, man. Love you, bro. Let's get it. Love you.